using your mobile phone whilst you are driving is a criminal offence, which, if you are caught, will lead you to receiving six penalty points on your driving licence, as well as a £200 fine. Now, the classic example of someone using their phone whilst driving is making a phone call, so having the phone to their ear, or holding the phone and texting, WhatsApping, or using some other form of communication. Now, those examples clearly contravene the law, but there are other times where it is less clear whether or not it is legal to use your phone. In this video, I'm going to answer some of the common questions that crop up as to if and when you can use your phone whilst you are in the driving seat of your car. Now, I should say that this video is not to encourage you to use your phone whilst you are operating a car. Most cars these days have really good inbuilt systems which you can use and you should use them. And using your mobile phone in general should only be as a last resort and when you are safely parked. Welcome to my channel, Andy on Crime, where I talk about high profile criminal cases and other aspects of criminal law in England and Wales. Before I get into some of the scenarios later in the video, let me start out first of all by going through the law. And when I'm talking about the law, I'm talking about the law of England and Wales, where I practice. Scotland and Northern Ireland do have separate but similar laws which will apply, but you should refer to the laws relating to those countries if that's where you're from. Now, section 41 alpha of the Road Traffic Act 1988 states that any person using a handheld mobile telephone or other handheld interactive communication device whilst driving shall be guilty of an offence. The offence, therefore, of using your mobile phone is not just limited to mobile phone devices, but any interactive device in general. So as a consequence, many other forms of communication are covered under this offence as well. An interactive communication includes sending or receiving oral or written messages, sending or receiving still or moving images, and providing access to the internet. And as I said at the start of this video, the punishment for this offence is six penalty points on your licence. It used to be three and then it was increased to six. And you will also receive a £200 fine. So this means that if you are a newly qualified driver within the first two years of having passed your test, you will lose your licence if you are convicted of this offence and be required to retake your test. So now that I've covered the law, Let's get into some scenarios. So the first scenario I'm going to look at is, can I use my phone whilst I am parked? Now this might seem like a fairly obvious answer. Yes, you can, but you must ensure that you are safely parked. Now safely parked means parked in accordance with the highway code, specifically sections 238 to 252. So parking on double yellow lines in order to use your mobile phone would not constitute safely parked nor would pulling over to the side of the road with your indicator on, but parking in a marked bay clearly would. Now, when you use your mobile phone whilst parked, you should ensure that your engine is switched off and that you've implied your handbrake before you start using your phone. It's really common sense as to what being safely parked is. Think about whether or not you would be in a position to get out and leave your car in the position it is. If that's not the case, then you probably couldn't consider yourself to be safely parked. The second scenario I want to look at is, can I use my phone whilst I am stuck in traffic? Now, in general, no, you can't. Your engine is still on and you are still responsible for that vehicle. So if you start using your phone in that situation, then you will be committing an offence. And this applies even if your car has a function whereby it switches off the engine whilst you are stationary. Now, one example where you may be able to use your phone whilst you are stuck in traffic is where there is a bad accident, for example, on the motorway, and the police have closed all lanes and brought traffic to a standstill whilst they are dealing with it. Now, in that scenario, if you have switched off your engine and got out of your car, then you would not be breaking the law by using your phone. Of course, getting out of your car in that situation may not be appropriate depending on the circumstances at the time, but as a general rule, if you are stuck in traffic, you should not be using your mobile phone as you will be committing an offence. 
The next scenario is, can I use my mobile phone whilst I am acting as the supervisor for a learner driver? Now, unsurprisingly, the answer to this question is no. As the supervising driver, i.e. the qualified driver who is supervising someone who has not yet passed their test, you have a responsibility to supervise and you cannot do so whilst you are using your mobile phone. So you will be committing a criminal offence if you are caught as the passenger whilst you are supervising a learner driver, even though you yourself are not operating the controls. Now the next one is something I imagine quite a lot of people have done and perhaps haven't thought about it or realised that this could even potentially be a breach of the rules. Paying by contactless at a drive through Now you are actually permitted to do so and it is specifically listed on the government website about using your mobile phone whilst driving as well as the Metropolitan Police website. Now you should ensure that whilst you are doing so you have applied the handbrake and the car is in neutral when you are paying to ensure that you will not accidentally move off whilst you are paying for your KFC. Can I use my mobile phone whilst I am stopped at a set of traffic lights? And I can deal with this one really quickly. This is similar to the can I use my phone while stuck in traffic? And the answer to that is no, you can't. If you do so, you will be committing an offence. Can I use my phone in an emergency? And the answer to that is fairly common sense again. Yes, you can if you are in an emergency situation and it is either unsafe or impractical to stop then you are permitted to use your phone to call 999 or 112. And the final scenario I'm going to talk about is hands-free. Now, this is a bit of a thorny area, as hands-free can mean a couple of things. If you have your phone plugged into the car and are controlling the hands-free using a wheel or the touchscreen, which is inbuilt to the car, then that is considered a legal use of hands-free. If, however, you have a phone in a cradle on your dashboard, then interacting with it would actually be breaking the law. So as an example, if you are using your phone in a cradle as a sat-nav and it asks you to change the route because of an accident or because another route is faster, legally, you are supposed to park your car before interacting with the phone because touching your phone would be considered use. Now this seems bizarre, considering especially that using a touch screen in a car is arguably as distracting as interacting with a phone in a cradle. One is legal, the inbuilt touch screen, whilst the other is not using your phone in a cradle. I'd be really interested to know what you think about the different rules regarding the use of different types of hands-free. Do let me know in the comments below. If you do have any other scenarios that you want to throw at me, then I'll do my best to either answer in the comments or if there's enough scenarios thrown at me, I will make another video. If you'd enjoyed this video, then please do give it a like. And if you'd like to see more from me, then please do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Take care.